Let's go over how to take a blueprint in your Unreal project and turn it into a DMX controllable and sequencer compliant blueprint using Carbon's tools. I have these four lights on this billboard that I want to control with DMX and I also want to record them to sequencer. Let's go over how to do that. I'm going to open up the blueprint. You can see that all it is is just one spotlight and I'm just going to control the IES intensity scale of this light using DMX. The first thing I'm going to do here is that I'm going to use the two override functions that come with the generic DMX parent class. So if your blueprint is not already a child class of generic DMX, the way you can switch that is by going to class settings and changing the parent class to generic DMX. Once you've done that, you'll have access to the live tick and the sequencer tick in your event graph. The live tick runs when your blueprint is in its normal state, and the sequencer tick runs when your blueprint is armed for uh, playback using our sequencer recording workflow. So the first thing let's do, let's connect this up for DMX. We're going to use our live tick because we're going to be controlling with our DMX console when we're controlling this live. So I'm going to grab my spotlight. I'm going to set the IES intensity scale. I'll connect the execution line right there. This value takes a float. So I need to get a float value from my DMX connection. The best way to do that is using the DMX ranged clamp node that we provide with Carbon 4 Unreal. I'll connect the output right here. I know the range that I want to control is going to be from 0 to 0 0.0002. Let me type that in right here. And what this will do is it will take the channel values and it will remap it between the min and the max that I type in to this node. I need to give it a patch. By default, the generic DMX class has a patch, so I can just get patch and pass that in. If I want to offset it, so if I have more than one channel that are going to be controlling my blueprint, I can make multiple of these nodes and set the offset for each of them different so that I can get various channels in sequence. And if any of them are 16-bit with a coarse and a fine channel, I can do that as well. So now that I have this connected as such, I can see that as my live tick runs, it's going to set this value based on this DMX range clamp. Now, I want to record this value for playback in the sequencer in the future. And the way that I need to do that is I need to create a variable that's exposed to cinematics. So I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to make it a float. I'm going to call it my intensity. And I will make it instance editable and exposed to cinematics. Both of these are required to be checked for you to be able to record them in the future. So I'm going to set my intensity based on this value, and I will just pass it through to my set intensity scale node, just like this. So now I'm set to drive this live. Now I need to be able to play back just based on using this value right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this like that drop that into the scene. So after my intensity has been recorded, uh, the sequencer will drive this intensity node and I will pass it in to just another duplicate of my set IES intensity scale. Clean this up a bit. So we can see here that when I'm driving live or also armed for record, this live tick will run, it will get my DMX value, it will remap it to the range that I want, it will save it as the intensity, which can be recorded with cinematics, and then it will actually update the light live. If I'm playing back in sequencer, the sequencer will be driving this intensity because it's been exposed to cinematics, and the take recorder will record it, and then it will just bypass the DMX part, and it will automatically pass it through directly into the light. Now that I've wired up my blueprints, they can be recorded and played back using the regular tools and workflows that we have in Carbon for Unreal. 
Let's show them off real quick. I've got each of these blueprints with a patch. I'm going to click play. We can see that in Universe 31 on these four channels, I am receiving some DMX data. So once this scene loads, we will see them being controlled by the console.